the William and Mary volleyball team held off a strong Delaware comeback attempt to catch its first CAA win in exciting five-set fashion on Friday evening. Critical, absolutely critical win um, for us. I'm really proud of the team. We were up 7-5 in the fifth, and Delaware won three straight points, and we made the switch down 7-8, to eight, and our girls just battled, you know, and I think that's the biggest thing, especially for our, our underclassmen to stay with it and show that persistence and perseverance and come out with the win after dropping those three points and making that switch. Um, awesome effort. And, and just in general, I thought we made some unbelievable clutch plays at the end. Um, you know, we had Burt's block an overpass. Uh, we had Lauren Merrill get a couple last second digs, um, middle one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Anne Louise took a big couple swings at the very end for, for match point. And so we had some people who, who grew into the moment. Uh, and that's big for this team. And that's, that's the most gratifying aspect is not just the win and a conference win, but the fact that younger girls are stepping up and they're stepping into that moment and they're not afraid to play hard and play aggressive for their teammates. And even though we dropped two sets right in the middle there, we battled and we stayed together and, and we talk about playing hard and playing together and it was worthwhile. The try came out of the gate aggressive by taking the first two sets, but momentum swung to Delaware's side as the Blue Hens claimed the next two frames to force a fifth set. The story of the game was passing. We were passing the 2-1 uh, after sets one and two, which is, uh, you know, that's, that's really quality for us and puts us in good situations. So we're able to kill the ball and get good access for our attackers. Sets three and four, we dropped off big time with our passing. And then it, you saw it came, come alive in set five, put a couple balls right to the setters and it makes, it, uh, make, makes their life easy. Um, so we just executed, you know, and once we become consistent with that, you know, we're gonna be scary good. The trial freshman stepped up big time after accounting for 69% of the offensive production. Anna Louise Seifer hammered a season-high 10 kills, Lauren Merrill blasted 9 kills, and Madeline Burst and Claire Farrell added 8 apiece. Uh, you know, the, the other thing about the freshmen is just rewarding the effort that they show in practice because this was a tough week on them, and we were hard on them about making smarter plays. Um, we had, uh, again, Anna Louise, um, played really smart, Chip played, sorry, Lauren Merrill played really smart, called Chip. Um, Claire Farrell, still swinging big, you know, and she's not afraid of the moment, and that is uh, really rewarding to see. Uh, and just overall, I mean, uh, but the fact is also it was a team effort. I mean, and, and that can't get lost. The underclassmen made some good plays, but uh, it takes the leadership of Katie Kemp as a senior, and it takes big swings and digs from Lauren Moussad. She was unbelievable. Um, you know, she just made some critical plays. You know, we don't win without Lauren Moussad. The Green and Gold will have a quick turnaround as another CAA opponent in Townsend comes to town at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, we're hoping that the win gives us some confidence, uh, lets us know that when we pass well, we're a team to be reckoned with. Uh, Towson presents a good challenge tomorrow. They're pretty even across the board in terms of they have a lot of different attackers, so they're able to spread the net. We're going to have to make some good one-on-one -on -one block moves tomorrow, pass well, um, so that we can be competitive inside out. And if we side out, we're, we're going to be fine.